All right, AQA, Biopaper 2. Let's see what the high yield topics are to try and secure you that A or A star. All right, let's do this. So these are the grade boundaries before we jump into the sort of topic and subtopic side of things, right? So as we can see, which is pretty similar to all exam boards, all exams across the board, 2023 and 2024 grade boundaries shot up quite high, okay? So we can see on average across the eight years from 2017 all the way to 2024, you need 62 marks for an A star, 52 marks for an A, 43 marks for a B, and 34 for a C, okay? And if you want to take a look at the average of the top three, so you're extra strict to yourself when you're going through your past papers and marking your past papers, you're going to be looking at 65 for an A star, 56 for an A, 46 for a B, and 36 for a C, okay? So you can lose about half the paper and still get a B, not too bad, right? It's where you get into the A and A star areas for bio, where it gets a little bit more difficult just because of how the mark schemes are for bio. But it's definitely doable, so no worries. Let's see what the topic and the subtopics are that you should focus on in order to get that A or A star more likely in 2025. All right, so in first place, 3.6, organisms respond to changes in their environments got 34%. So roughly a third of the marks over the eight years was due to this topic or from this topic, right? 3.7 genetics populations comes in second at 26%, control of gene expression at 22%, and then energy transfer is at 19%. So this gives you an overall idea of where you should be focusing your time between the different four topics that can come up in paper two. Um, but where do you actually want to focus your time within these topics? So if you look down here, right? We can see control of gene expression is third place overall for topics. But when you look at the subtopics, it's actually first place by 11 marks. Um, and it has come up every single year for an average marks of 11. Okay, so even though it's the third lowest topic, this portion of that topic, gene expression is controlled by a number of features. 3.8.2 is first place overall. So that's where you want to be focusing on a ton of your time. Okay, now... If I, if I remember correctly, this barely came up last year. We'll look at that in a second in terms of the trends over the years. Um, but for now, this is the subtopics, right? So 3.6 is a huge one for the second and the third place, okay? More specifically, stimuli and response, homeostasis, okay? Those are the two next highest ones. Then you got one from topic 3.7, which is populations in ecosystems, okay? You're gonna have to go through the spec yourself if you wanna see in more detail what is included within these subtopics because I haven't really delved into that sort of level of detail. This is just the subtopics from the spec, right? And what came up in the exams. Next up, we have gene technology. So that's another one from 3.8, which would be the third highest topic again, all right? So these two portions, these two subtopics from 3.8 are the highest. If you look down here, uh, DNA um, sequences and genome projects, those are the lowest by far. Like in eight years, it's only got seven mark and one mark respectively in paper two. Okay, maybe slightly different in paper three, but for paper two, these are really low. Okay, is there a chance that they apply some questions this year on these two subtopics? Of course there is, right? But we just have to sort of go with the flow. And to be honest, Knowing how weird AQA have been this year with chem, physics, bio, it wouldn't surprise me if they do some really weird stuff this year. So I can't actually predict what's going on, but so far it seems like my chem paper one prediction was pretty solid. So hopefully we can have a look at what's going on here and uh, help you the best I can for paper two bio. So I'm not going to spend time waffling through this. You want to focus on the ones that have the highest frequency and the highest average marks when they do appear. Okay, work your way at the top. Start uh, start at the top right and work your way down. Okay, if you notice here, 3.5. So energy transfer in and between organisms. I think it's organisms. Yeah, organisms is pretty low, which is surprising, right? Like photosynthesis, respiration is tragically low for for AQA compared with OCR. OCR was mad on the photosynthesis and respiration, but it's a lot lower here. Um, so just keep that in mind. If that's what you've been paying attention to in your revision, you wanna focus more on the 3.6s, the 3.8s up here, okay?
And if you are doing 3.7, population ecosystems, inheritance, and evolution. All right. Here is just a visual representation of the marks over the years. It's not as steep as OCR. OCR is way more skewed towards certain topics, um, certain types of subtopics, I should say. So yeah, like I say, start here, work your way down here, etc. in the day before the exam, in the cramming session, the YouTubes, whatever you have, your notes, your flashcards, start over here and work your way down um, as needed to hit that A star. Okay, now let's take a look at the um, trend side of things, right? So this is exactly the same table, exactly the same table, okay? What you need to think about is what was absent last year. Okay, because you're going to see trends across the board and it often goes up, down, up, down, up, down. There's deviations to that trend. But like, let's say we look at gene expression, right? 3.8.2 has been on the decline for the last two years. So I expect this to go up this year. Okay, so this one right here, I expect to go up this year. As you can see, two marks in 2024, eight marks in 2023. Okay, so it was like barely there last year. So I'm expecting this one to go up. Of course, they could do some really weird stuff and just leave it absent entirely, but I'm expecting this to go up this year. Okay, stimuli, I think it's going to go down. Look at this. Um, you've got three up, two down, two up. So I expect this to go down. I don't think it's going to be absent, but I think it's going to go down a little bit, calm down a bit. Right, because we had 18 marks last year. So the last time we had 18 marks, it went down to 10. Then it went down to nothing. And this was weird. All right, 2022 is sort of an outlier because they had the advanced specification. So you kind of have to ignore 2022 to a degree. Maybe this was in paper three. I haven't checked yet. But my assumption is that it's going to go down this year, stimuli, but it's still going to be present, I think. I don't think we're going to get a zero like in 2022. Okay, what do we have next? I'm not going to spend too much time here. Homeostasis. Okay, so we have an up. We have like three in a row where it's pretty static. And we had an increase, decrease, up again. So I think this is going to be around the same, you know. It seems to be pretty stable around the 8 to 12-ish marks, 8 to 10 marks. So I'm assuming it's going to be around there this year as well. Uh, what do we have next? Populations, I think. Do we ever have two increases in a row? No. So I think this is going to go down slightly. Um, not by that much, but I think it's going to go down. Gene technologies. Ooh, so this has gone up twice in a row. It's only been absent once in 2018. I think this is going to go down, but it's going to be around the same. It's going to be in this, what's this, four marks, four marks to 10 marks range, I think. Four to eight marks, maybe. Nervous coordination, I think, is going to go. So we've never had two downs in a row. We've had two, we've had a few ups in a row. So I think this is going to be around the same or go down slightly. Inheritance, uh, up, down, up, down, up. So I think this is going to go down or stay around the same. But like AQA has been freaky, so who knows? Photosynthesis. Hmm. I think it's going to stay around the same photosynthesis. If anything, it might bump up a little bit. Um. So photosynthesis is always one to go for. Evolution. Um... Uh, I'm going to say this is going to go stay around the same or dip. Um, I don't think this is going to shoot up anywhere. Skeletal muscle. Hmm. I think this is going to go. It's never gone higher than around nine marks in paper two. And it was present last year and it was present in 2022. It was absent in 2021 and 2022. So I expect this to go down or stay around the same. Okay, I actually expect this to go down just because it's been present in the last two years for a decent amount of marks. Nutrient cycle is going to go up, I think. I don't think there would be a situation where you have two zeros in a row, um, even though in 2017, 2018, 2019, it was super low marks. You never got two zeros in a row. So this is definitely going to be present this year. That's my thinking. Uh, where were we? Nutrient cycles. Respiration is going to go up because it's on the dip for two years in a row. So I'd actually focus on respiration even more so than photosynthesis. But I think these will both come up. I think it will just be lowish marks of photosynthesis. And then it's going to bump up the respiration, guys. So if you haven't revised respiration, have a go at that. Of course, it might not come up. But if it's been dipped, 
completely last year and then it decreased in 2023. I think there's a decent chance that we get an increase in 2025. All right, next up, energy and ecosystems. I think this is the same as respiration. We've got two years in a row where it's dipped and then last year was absent completely. So pay attention to respiration, energy and ecosystems, guys. Populations, now we're getting to the lower marks, right? So I don't really care about these too much. I'm just going to scroll through them so you can see. Wow, this was low. I get, like I said, these are 3.8 ones, the 3.8 subtopics down here are basically completely absent each year. Okay, so take a look through this graph, see what you think is going to come up. Um, you probably know more than I do because you're actively studying it every day, especially you A star guys. So maybe look at look through some stuff, see what you think from the last paper in 2024, paper two. Um, but yeah, I've sort of said what I can. Respiration energy, I think it's going to be present. And then other ones, it's really hard to say. I think this is going to go up this year. So that's one to keep an eye on. I think this is going to go down this year. Um, then, yeah, I've already spoken about the rest. Okay. Best of luck, guys. Peace.